funny you should ask, is a new hilarious show premiering on the U on Monday. The show's hosted by another great John, that's John Kelly, and he features a variety of comedy guests, from Anthony Anderson to Howie Mandel, giving hilarious answers to all types of questions. Let's take a look. Four C of buying a diamond are carrot, cut, color, and what? Credit score. <laughs> The constant and persistent fear of work is called what? My ex-husband. <laughs> yes. We have none other than Jack John Kelly. Kelly here, the host of the show. John, welcome back to Chicago. Thank you so much. Great to be here on your spectacular show. This is a party in here. I like yes. the way you guys talk about it. Is. I love that. It's a party in the morning. It absolutely is. So you've done it all. You were a college football star. Wow. You hosted Extra. You were a sportscaster for many years. Well, and now you're so. hosting a game show. So how does that compare? You know, it's it's all come full circle. You know, I tell people it's really cool because it kind of combines everything I've done. You've got the live audience, so it feels like back when I was doing sports. I'm asking questions, so it's like when I was a news reporter. And, you know, you see you have a lot of action and contact out there, too, with these crazy comedians, so I feel like I'm playing a little football now and then. Yeah. But it is, without question, one of, if not the coolest job I've had because I get to work with these superstars of comedy. It's almost like the 92 uh, Dream Team at the Olympics with Michael Jordan, <laughs> Scottie Pippen, you know, Charles Barkley. Uh, you know Larry Bird because those are the comics we have. Howie Mandel, the original, um, you know, kings of comedy, set of the entertainer, and on and on. It is a blast. I laugh. Every it looks day. super exciting. Tell us how the show works. What actually happens? Okay, we have uh, six great comics. Uh, I ask them a question, they give a hilarious, funny punchline answer, and then they try and answer it seriously, and then the player tries to figure out if it's right or wrong. They win money, we do three rounds, whoever has the most money advances, then goes on for the big money. But it is, uh, seriously, I laugh so much I'm sweating by the end <laughs> yeah. of the day. And I'm I like, mean, you're paying me to sit up here like I'm in a nightclub watching <laughs> six great comics. We were laughing in that clip, and you mentioned all these heavyweights and star power. Can you give us a little hint as to who is the funniest? The funniest, you know, that's the beauty of this because it is, it's like, you know, a who's who of comedy. Everybody has their own things. You know, we got Howie Mandel right here. We've got John Lovitz. We've got Louis Anderson, Cheryl Hines from uh, Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's not the funniest. The great thing is we've got like this symphony. It's like jazz music. One nice. guy's on the bass, one guy's, you know, on the clarinet. It's just a beautiful mix. So yeah. I don't have a favorite, but I'll tell you, Howie Mandel comes to play. He is a beast. Really? He is so cool. So does any, um, like, is there a particular moment that stands out to you, like a funny moment where you almost fell over laughing? Yeah, well, I, that happened. but it happens every day. I mean, literally, I'm up there and people are like, you look like you're having a good time. I'm like, no, I'm not having a good time. I'm having a spectacular nice. time. No, it's an understatement how much fun I have. But I've, I've forgotten all the jokes. We taped so many of them. We're doing 260 wow. episodes wow. for the first two seasons. That's so cool. we're not Mandel, we're not Lovitz, we're not Cedric, we're Robet, we're Lawrence, we're Cornette. But we're going to try it <laughs> as comedians okay. here, so can we give a shot? You know, a little peek into how the game works here. Yeah, you're, you're, you're crack, I love games. Uh, executive right. producer Rudy came up with these uh, questions I have right here. Where'd you here. pull so that go, card I'm from? I'm scared. So now that we I know who did it, like if the questions don't hat. work, it's all the guy back there behind see, the I camera. See how I did that? <laughs> yeah, Rudy, I hope these are good, man. <laughs> oh boy. Are you guys ready to play? Let's do it. All right, what is this? Funny you should jam. So we oh, funny should jam. How that about that? Funny uh, jam. Question number one. We'd like to know who is the most famous dinosaur right here in Chicago? Dinosaur. D dinosaur, yes. Sue. Dennis Rodman. Sue. De <laughs> Dino. Dino. Dino the dinosaur. The correct answer? Well played, young lady. Sue, Ooh. down at the Field Museum right there. Yeah, my How kids you know love that, that museum. I she's would, well, well when he said dinosaur, I was thinking like a mega star, and I'm like, okay, Oprah, Michael Jordan. And I'm like, no, 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 a real dinosaur. Yeah, you can't yeah. call Sue. Oprah a dinosaur. Yeah, just for the record, do not call Oprah Michael <laughs> dinosaur. But I thought like a big him. star, like a dinosaur of a talent. Got it. Okay, no, good, good, good. Good That's save, good save. save. That's not a phrase, by the way, dinosaur of a talent. It's going to work. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Question two. We'd like you to name the popular snack food introduced at the World's Fair way back in 1893. A little hint, uh, they eat it a lot at baseball games. Funnel cake. Uh, tobacco. Okay, so one, eight, one, okay. <laughs> Funnel cake. Not tobacco. tobacco. Yeah, all right, yeah, good, good try. Peanuts. Peanuts. Steroids. Steroids, yeah, that's very Ooh. popular. <laughs> all right, I give up. I'm out of You're guess. the closest. Cracker Jacks. Oh. Cracker Jacks, yeah. Well, why didn't they just The World's say that? Fair here in Chicago. <laughs> you Remember said that? baseball, I thought steroids. I don't yeah. know. I mean, that's, that's just me. <laughs> like sports guy, you know the deal here. All right, at my age, I'll take anything I can to help. All right, final question. This is the big money bonus round. This right. one's kind of tough. Wait, who's keeping score? Yeah, I'm I am losing. right that's here. And what right do we win? It's, it's, yeah, you get a, a free morning of coming here. Oh, my gosh, okay. a buzzer. Final question. What do the four stars 
on the Chicago flag oh, no. represent? We see that everywhere, but what are those big four red stars? I, see, I, 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 I learned this do? in seventh grade. I was oh, going to say, I've had this question asked first. to me before. And you I learned it in seventh know. grade. Let's, let's take a shot. I think I forgot. Uh, four <laughs> stars are the four first politicians here. I don't know. Is that, is that, that your, was bad. Is that, your that was an yeah. educated guy. The four yeah, yeah. quadrants of Pu Chicago. Public education, right? <laughs> yes. North, okay. south, I get it. east, me too. west side. Me too. Um, the blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, hot dogs. Okay. Yes. Yeah, nice. Because that's nice. so Chicago. That was All good. right, big man. Uh, it's, on, it's on you. Did you drop that? Don't worry. I don't need uh, it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. Deep dish pizza. Taxes, cold weather, through. deep dish pizza, and traffic. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no All answer. spectacular answers. The correct answers. <laughs> I got them. Fort Dearborn, the Great Chicago Fire of 1871. Yeah, see, I knew it was things. The World's Fair, and also Century of Progress Expo. Uh, remember this one back in 1933. <laughs> yeah, I was actually well, we working in Chicago. Now, <laughs> John, if I asked you those, would you have got those four? No, the, I knew a couple on the Chicago flag just because I did some trivia. And they, they, some people say the blue stripes have to do with the, the rivers and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. That's but no, you know what? I would probably That's would not That's not true. Have. I'm so sure we... everybody at home is thinking this, but I, I'm thinking it. Every time I listen to John, your voice is such a signature. I feel like you couldn't have had any other job except for to be a host. <laughs> a game show host is exactly what you should be doing. Yeah, it was either this or janitor. Yeah. Yeah. So and funny. The way you... my career is going, maybe that'll end up. Funny you should ask. No. Premieres Monday, September 11th. The show airs weeknights on the U at 11.30 p.m. Plus, John, stick it around.